Hey you guys, Naturally Marked here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this video, I see you see me, so I want to see you press subscribe so you can become part of the BAM fam. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. I know you guys see that I have like a little happy helper with me right now, but I wanted to get this intro in here that I wasn't going to just upload a video without having an intro for you guys. But today I'm going to show you guys me washing all of that gel out of my hair and how I can fully get the gel out of my hair without using so much shampoo or using a whole bunch of water. This is how I get gel out of my hair and off my scalp. So if you're interested in this video, then just keep watching. Okay, guys, this is like six days later. I knew I told you guys I was going to try to make sure I was going to wash my hair out on the third day, but mm -hmm, didn't happen. So this is three days later. I do have hair in the back, you guys. I know it looks like I'm kind of bald back there, but I promise you I'm not bald back there at all. My hair is just really gelled up. It When I did the pineapple method... My hair did not fall right. It literally just stuck to the back of my head. So that's why it looks like I'm like really struggling back there with my edges, but I'm not. But I just wanted to really show you guys how I remove gel out of my hair. I've been removing gel out of my hair this way. I mean, because I used to put a lot of gel in my hair, but I do not go in straight with a shampoo when I just drenched my hair in gel i've always had to go in with an apple cider vinegar wrench so this is half apple cider vinegar and half warm water so what i'm doing right now is pretty much like a pre-poo situation with um apple cider vinegar to loosen up the gel cast to loosen up the gel that's just being stuck to my strands if you guys have ever um, try to just go straight in with shampoo and you notice you have to shampoo your hair like five, like three times, five times. I'm being really dramatic, but I mean, you have to shampoo your hair a lot when you try to remove gel or any like edge control or anything out of your hair. You guys try this method first. Try doing an apple cider vinegar rinse and I promise you it's going to change your life like you're gonna save you're gonna save so much more shampoo by pre pooing your hair with apple cider vinegar and it needs to be warm um water that you add into the apple cider vinegar so just half and half right now i'm really just showing you guys the difference of what my hair gel look like which is on the right side and this is the store bought hair gel side on the left I'm really just showing you guys how tangled the left side of my hair look from using the wet line extreme side and how frizzier it looks and how my side of gel that um that I've made on the right side my hair has so much more definition the slip in my hair was crazy like even with me starting to reapply more water to my hair or even just putting the apple cider vinegar on my hair doing a pre-poo, I notice that when I do my hair gel again, because I'm going to have to make it again because I'm trying to perfect it, but when I apply my hair gel again to my hair, I'm most definitely going to do it on soaking wet hair because I see that my hair actually looks a lot better with the more water that I'm putting on my hair, just trying to get the gel out of my hair. But you guys, I just wanted to do a comparison, like what my hair looked like and felt like after washing the right side out, which is my aloe vera hair gel, and then the right side, which is store bought wet line extreme gel. And you guys can see the difference. I mean, leave a comment down below if you see the difference in the sides of my hair of the wet line extreme side which is on the left and my aloe vera gel which is on the right like my hair felt so much more hydrated on the right side so this is just me once again showing you guys me washing out all that gel um the the gel really came off of my hair off of my scalp really easy sorry my camera's kind of fogging up but i'm just showing you guys once again, the difference of a slip, how my hair is not tangled. Like, look at this. The right side is so not tangled. And the, 
the left side is. So I am going to follow up with a shampoo just because when you put that much dang gel in your hair, you need to make sure all the gel is off of your scalp, um, off of your hair. So I do have to follow up with a shampoo, but the apple cider vinegar pre-pool is literally for getting that gel build up the cast off of your hair and helping it lift off of your hair strands i don't know what it is but seriously guys i've been doing this for a long time and every time when i try to go in with just straight shampoo to wash my hair after i got a lot of gel in my hair it don't come off of my hair i always have to go in with an apple cider vinegar rinse so i just really want you guys to enjoy the video and know that store-bought hair gels really don't wash off your hair that easy so let me know if you use your own um hair gel like that you make at home or else if you're just really stuck on store-bought hair gels or i mean what what do you like to use natural products or store-bought products do you like to kind of dabble in the kitchen like, let me know. So, I'm going to stop talking and rambling, you guys, and just let you guys watch me um, wash out the rest of my hair and multitask while I'm making this video. So, yeah, you guys, just enjoy watching me wash out the rest of my hair. video um you guys for the people that actually do wash and goes i really don't know how y'all do wash and goes like that are you saying hi can you say hi we just got done doing his 10 month baby update video but he's actually 11 months right now but yes he just turned 11 months um but that's why he's here with me but um you guys i actually don't know how y'all do it with like a wash and go all the time. I think I might try to do a cream wash and go. So I'm gonna make a product and see what I can do with like a cream wash and go flaxseed gel type of situation, but make it more less gel and more cream to see if I like that a little bit better and to see how my hair reacts. But this is what my hair looks like i just braided my hair into two big braids and then the conditioner that you guys see me put in my hair i actually just left that in my hair for a deep um conditioner treatment and then i just went back in like two days later and put these french braids in my hair and uh, this once again is what it's looking like and i actually got it pinned 
at the back of my head which i really can't show you guys that right now but yeah this is just how i have my hair so this is the end result for you guys and if you try this hairstyle or if you try to use apple cider vinegar to get gel out of your hair please let me know down in the comment section and thank you guys so much for watching bye Say bye. Say bye. He ain't having it. He ain't having it.